Hello everybody, it's me, Prunekeeper17, and today I'm going to be doing another Math League Contest paper, and it's going to be 2012 to 2013, it's going to be questions 5 through 15. So now let's get to it. Okay, so the first question. Wednesday is five days after my party. On what day is my party? So five days ago would be Tuesday, Monday, then Sunday, Saturday, then Friday. It would end on Friday. So our answer would be A, Friday. Second question. Which of the following is the sum of two prime numbers? So let's just try out the smallest prime number that we know, which is 2. So 11 minus 2 is 9. 9 isn't prime. 17 minus 2 is 15. 15 isn't prime. 23 minus 2 is 21. 21 isn't prime. But 31 minus 2 is 29. 29 is prime. So our answer would be D, 31. The next question is, each of my shoes weigh the same. If two of my shoes weigh 12 kg together, then the total weight of 12, shoe, 12 of my shoes is. So, two shoes equals 12 kg, so 12 shoes would be, so 12 divided by 2 is 6. And because we multiply 2 and 6 to get 12, we have to multiply 6 with 12, and that would be 72. So, our answer would be, again, D, 72 kg. Next question, 25 times 25 equals 5 times 5 times blank. So, if you notice, 5 times 5 equals 25. So, 125 gets cancelled out on both sides, and the leftover is 25 on that side. So, if we bring that 25 over to this side, we bring it over here, it would equal the same. So our answer is D. Our question is, six dozen plus one dozen pairs equals blank sets of three. So a dozen pair, a pair is two. So that would be two dozen plus six dozen, which is eight dozen. And eight dozen times 12, because that's how much one dozen equals, is 96. And now 96 divided by three, because they're asking about sets of three, would be 32. When Gil Sakhan correctly counts the dots on his costume in a group of four, there are three left over. There could be blank dots all together. So we just have to subtract three from um the answers and see which one's divisible by four after that. So let's start off with A. Three minus thirty one minus three is twenty eight and it is twenty eight is divisible by four. So our answer it would be A. The next question. What time is four hundred and twenty minutes before four PM? So four hundred and twenty minutes divisible is divided by 60, because that's how much an hour is. So 420 divided by 60 is 7, so it would be 7 hours before. So if we can subtract 4 out of the 7 from the 4 p.m., and then we have to subtract 3 more from the from 12, because it's a, it's a new 12 hours, so it would be 9 a.m. C. The next question is, Ten hundreds and ten tens plus ten ones equal. So ten hundreds equals a thousand. Ten tens equals a hundred, and ten ones equals ten. So it would be one 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 zero, which is C. The next question is: Professor Quack has seven more students this year than he had last year. If he had the total of forty three students in both years combined, how many students did he have this year? So, because he said seven more students this year, if we subtract seven from every answer that they gave us and add it with their number before we subtracted seven, and we get 43, that would be your answer. So, let's try A. So, 18 minus 7 is 11. 11 plus 18 is 29, not 43. Let's try B. 25 minus 7 is 18. 
18 plus 25 is 43. So our answer is B, 43. Our last question is, altogether 27 trapezoids have the same number of sides as blank triangle. So a trapezoid has four sides, and so four times 27 is 108, and 108 divided by three, because that's how much a triangle has, would be D36.